Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we are bringing forth messages from Spirit for you. This reading by its nature is timeless. Whenever this reading happens to find you is exactly when it's meant to. Whether it's the day I post it or years from now, for some of you this may find you more than once. Trust that there's something here in this message for you. It might be a word, it might be a sentence, it may be the whole thing. But there's a reason that this reading has come to you today. So let's get into it and let's see what messages your spiritual soul tribe has to you. Your spirits, angels, guides, your past loved ones. See what we've got for you. Messages for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know right now for their best and highest good? Thank you. You are a beauty, is what the front of the card says. Dearest you, the common sayings, be in the world but not of it, and wear the world loosely, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not being attached to specific outcomes. Do not take this world too personally, for you are one of the many co-creators here to play, and we have many ideas about how all this should play out. Just know the outcomes don't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through life. There's a real freedom in knowing and accepting this. So will you wear the world loosely or will it be a straitjacket to you? It is your choice. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you are meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan. Loving you always and forever. Let's get some more messages and see what else we've got. See what angel is working with you the most right now. Of course, all of them are always around you, helping you, guiding you, leading you, and protecting you. But we'll see who is stepping forward today. What angel is working most with Gemini right now, please? Thank you. And we have <clears throat> Archangel Michael with transmutation. Wow. Okay, you've hit the big time. Archangel Michael is an incredibly powerful archangel stepping forth for you right about now. Michael is the divine leader, the cosmic leader, if you will, bringing you strength, courage, power, helping you to make change and helping bring you a huge amount of spiritual growth right now. The transmutation energy that Michael brings forth actually brings forth the energy of Thoth, ancient codes of wisdom and alchemy. Your ability to change one situation into another, your ability to make something out of nothing, your ability to manifest something into your world your ability to, how should we say, not control your environment because your environment is external, control how you respond to the world around you. Are you gonna let it, just like your uh, postcard from Spirit says, are you gonna let the world control you or are you going to control how you respond and how you deal with it? This gives you the energy here to create to change, to transform things. All of this wonderful spiritual alchemy is yours to be had. This is a time of profound growth and profound change for you right now. Call on Archangel Michael in those times when you don't feel confident or to release you from the straitjacket that your environment maybe has gotten you wrapped up in to bring you the confidence to change your circumstances or change how you view things, change how you react to things around you. Oops. 
the B. We have mental conflict. We've got the universe. Spiritual union, that's the two of cups. And we have discontent and boredom. Okay, there's something here that you're not seeing, Gemini, or something that you're confused about, or something that's causing you a little bit of grief. Mental conflict. Maybe you're trying to make a decision. Maybe you're doubting yourself on your journey. Maybe you're just sorting through your thoughts and you just don't know what you want. Or you don't know what things mean. So you're trying to figure it out. You may feel as though the forces around you and within you are opposing instead of working together. Mind over matter. Okay, mind should be over matter, but maybe right now it's matter over mind. So Spirit invites you here to go within. Call on Archangel Michael in these times of uncertainty or of self-doubt or of indecision. Trust in your ability to make the right choices for yourself too because quite often we do get mental conflict when we do doubt ourselves. It's like, I have a choice to make and if I choose this, oh my God, this will happen. If I choose this, oh my goodness, this will happen. And sometimes we tend to blow things out of proportion. The best thing that we can do is close our eyes and go inward. But it does require a little bit of trust. Trust the answers. Trust the signs that we see. Trust the answers that we get when we do go within. Because really, all of the answers that we need lie within. There are inner wisdom. But your ability here to connect with your spirits, angels, and guides right now, it might feel weird. You might not know what is going on. Just trust and go with the flow. The answers will come. You will know when the time is right. You will know when you need to make a choice. You will know when you need to make change. And you will know what is going on. But we need to be open and we need to allow. This is a time of expansion and growth for you. This is a time when you're getting a deeper level of understanding about the universe, about the world, about the environments, about what's going on, about how the puzzle pieces all fit together. And again, you might be doubting your journey or doubting the messages that you are getting or doubting the choices that you're making. When we get the universe card, this is things coming together. This is a sense of completion of wholeness. So Spirit here is saying, trust, you are on the right track. Things are coming together for you in a most incredible, powerful, and profound way. And as we expand and as we grow, as we open our mind, we open our heart, and we see in our mind's eye, we see with our eyes, we see with our heart, we see with our soul, all of the mysteries and the magic of the universe, uh, the puzzle pieces fall into place. We can quiet our conflicted mind and we can allow the rest of the energy to flow. For some of you, you are about to step forth on a new journey, a new trajectory, and you're invited here to be thankful and grateful for everything that you have accomplished on your way and everything that you are moving towards and that is moving towards you. Because this is a time of new beginnings, of balance, of healing, of bringing things together in the most magical and profound way. For some of you, you are about to meet your higher self in the most wonderful, magical, mystical way possible. Trust in that journey. Where there is conflict with that two of swords there, there is togetherness with the two of cups, with the spiritual union. Our number one relationship that we will ever have in our life is the relationship with our higher self. And here we're gaining understanding, we're gaining that connection, and we're feeling confident and secure in our own energy. Some of you might be receiving some messages, some news, or something coming in here that you can't quite see yet because you're still awakening, you're still opening. There's still a little bit of this mental anguish. 
here we need to squash that we need to let our our conscious mind go for a minute we need to quiet that so that we can really connect on a deeper level The Four of Cups, which is discontent and boredom coming in here, can show that we've turned our back on something or we do need to look at something a little bit differently or open our mind and open our heart to see the potential, to see the abundance, to see the possibilities that are around us, to see what we are becoming. But sometimes when we get this particular energy here, there's something coming towards you that hasn't manifested in yet or that you can't quite see yet because you're not ready. So keep going on your journey. Trust in where you're going and where you're headed. Trust the decisions that you're making. Call on Archangel Michael to help you to be the change that you want to see in your world. And to embrace the new ways of thinking, your personal growth, to open your heart and get ready to receive because again we need to be ready to receive messages wisdom opportunities people there might be people coming into your world that are very important but we need to be open to that experience or to those messages or to those opportunities because if we have our back turned we're never going to see the potential or we're never going to see what's coming so we're being asked here to re-engage to open our heart with the spiritual union here, yes, this can certainly represent that your angel spirits, guides, your spiritual soul tribe, they're all connected to you in ways that maybe you can't see and maybe you're not quite meant to see them at this particular moment, but you will see them. You will see them very clearly. For some of you, there might be a very important person that crosses your path. Now, this can possibly be that spirit's trying to open you up to new friends, new loves, new connections of all kinds. Possibly even to heal some existing connections in your world. But this here, okay, the Four of Cups energy, that turning your back on something or you're not willing to see something or you're not open to something. The world card there, that universe card there is showing you that it's time to be open, to set yourself free from some conflict, indecision, or something that's weighing on your mind and holding you back. And trust that you will make the right decisions and that you can actually, you know, open yourself up to what other people have to say. It's in times of meditation, quiet contemplation. The Four of Swords is where we quiet our conscious mind is where we do take a step back and we do relax, let our mind go and allow our energy to flow. Meditation is your key. Now, meditation can look a lot different for a lot of people. Sometimes, you know, some people really connect with traditional kind of meditation, right? You sit there, um, lotus position, and you might chant some things or you might not. And you might be able to do that without any other kind of help or outside influence. Some people um, connect with guided meditations because just it can just take some of the thought processes out of it and allow yourself a little bit easier to quiet that conscious mind to allow the rest of your energy to flow. Some of you might go for a walk out in nature. It's a great way to clear your mind and clear your head. You're getting grounded in that energy. Whatever meditation means to you, however you quiet your conscious mind, you're being called to do so at this time. You're being shown the path, you're being shown the way, and there's answers being brought to you, deeper levels of understanding. The magician. This brings you focus, clarity, but also helps you to recognize your true potential. When we embrace the magician energy, this does bring about this alchemy. Your ability to manifest your thoughts, your visions, your dreams into reality. Your ability here to trust that you have all of the wisdom, the skills, the knowledge, the resources at your disposal. 
to create change, to make improvements, or to attract new things into your life. The things that you want, the things that you desire. You are very connected with all of the mysteries and the magic that the universe brings in. You are that spiritual alchemist. You are that magician. Trust and have faith in yourself and your abilities. But remember, whenever we do have that magician, you attract things and you create your environment by the vibration that you put out. Live your life from the outside or from the inside out. Project your beautiful inward energy externally to your environment to help make your world, your environment a better place. We can allow that magic within. The Ten of Wands. Trust in your journey and don't place so many expectations on yourself. Sometimes we do create resistance in our life because we expect too much or, you know, we take on too much or, you know, we feel we're responsible for things that maybe we're not responsible for. Or we place those lofty expectations. And the thing is, is, you know, a lot of you are on the path for spiritual growth, spiritual awakening, which it's never a light switch, right? It happens over time. Um, we have those leaps and bounds, but we also have those long periods of plateau. They're for a reason. So don't give up. Four of Cups energy. Don't give up on your journey. But also release expectations, that Ten of Wands energy, this heavy burden that we place upon ourselves. And when we do that, that's when really the magic can really happen. The Ten of Wands also shows that some of you have been on a very difficult journey. You've had a lot of stress in your life. But you keep moving forward. You keep persevering through life. And you're about to be rewarded for that. You're going to see why things have been too hard. You're going to gain that insight as to why you've been on the difficult journey that you've been on. Trust that the end is near and that there's something new coming in, new experiences. Things may get a little bit easier. We're always going to have those hurdles that we need to overcome in our life. But there's this big shift in energy coming in there for you with that. Big shift in energy, the Knight of Wands, some passion, some excitement, some joy. This is your ability to create, to take the lead, to take charge, and to not let life knock you down. For some of you here, you are about to be rewarded for something that you have been working so very hard to achieve. The Knight of Wands does bring you an energy of success, of confidence, of action, feeling alive, finding new sources of inspiration, and also leveling up in a big, big way. So there's a big shift that's here for you. Doors of opportunity, new people, exciting new connections, or just this great sense of self. Bottom of the deck, we've got the world card for the second time. The universe card up there is the world card. So this is a time of completion, of expansion, of growth, of things coming together, of things coming full circle. For some of you, you're about to embark on a brand new journey. For some of you, you're getting closure and you're figuring things out in the most profound and exciting way. But whenever we do get the world card, thank you, this does bring an energy of success, of abundance, of growth into our world, right? And again, life is that, um, you know, the series of plateaus and steps ahead. So be thankful and grateful for everything that you've had in your journey, everything you've accomplished, everything that you haven't accomplished. Because sometimes if we don't accomplish something that we want, we can be filled with this fire, this sheer determination. I'm not going to let life beat me down. I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm not going to be defeated. But all of those things that we've experienced do enhance our wisdom and our skill set. Right? Think of inventors, right? The magician as an inventor. You are the inventor of your life right? And something doesn't work out today, you try again tomorrow or you do something a little bit different tomorrow to get to where you want to get to. That is the key to success. We have relationship change. For some of you, you're changing your relationship and you're experiencing this sense of growth of connection with your higher self, with your spirit angels guides, right? The spiritual awakening that some of you have. For some of you, there are relationships changing in your world. Now, for some of you, there again, with that Two of Cups energy, there is new connections coming in here. Ability to heal connections in your world 
or to heal yourself from past connections to get yourself ready for welcoming in some new. For some of you, your relationships in your world, your friendships, your romantic partnerships, your business relationships, your relationship with yourself, with the universe is changing. It's taking, you're taking things up a notch, right? The world card, is this closure or is this the next phase of your journey? Something shifting in all of your, in any of your relationships here. Something very important for you. And we have abundance blossoming in your life. Now we do have two world cards bringing about success and abundance in your world. We have manifestation with your magician coming in here. We've got something that you can't quite see yet with that four of cups, but you need to be open to abundance. This is a time of increased abundance, growth, and opportunity in your world to manifest things in your world, to harness all of the potential of the universe is and to create that change. What does abundance mean to you? Love, happiness, security, money. Abundance can mean many things. And this is blossoming in your world. So focus on what you want, but release expectations and be open to new things because quite often what happens when we're manifesting things in our world, we quite often get what we need, which is still in alignment that we with things that we want, but it might look a little bit different. So be open to that, okay? The possibilities are endless here for you. I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in this message that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please consider hitting like on this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting that notification bell so that you always know whenever there's a new reading put up for you. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.